Taste the Country Nights. We are live. We got Eddie Montgomery. What's happening, What's man? What's happening, man? I'm so happy I got to sit on my hands, keep waving to everybody. Bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, it's been a, it's been a wild uh, it's been a wild couple of years, you know. Uh, actually, yeah. the last four years have been crazy, but. Uh, you know, uh, I bet your whole life's been nuts, man. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> hey, man, life is short, man. And we're going to live it, man. That's what me and T always said, you know. So, uh, so. so Okay, so let's get into the new album. Okay, so yeah. it's your first solo project. Um, I wrote my first love song for my wife, Smoking Hot Wife. I wrote it, uh, She Just Loves Me, and I wrote uh, my son for a movie, uh, Old Henry, that's coming out. And Old Henry, uh, what it's about, it's about uh, Billy the Kid. And actually, Henry was his real name. And it's about him having a son. Pat Garrett didn't really kill him. Uh, so he went and hid and found a, found a wife and had a son. And his son can't figure out why they're living out here in the middle of nowhere. He hates it. And uh, so he don't know who he is. I won't give no more of it up. But it's a, it's a it's killer, man. I mean, it's awesome. So got to write the movie. Of course, uh, I wrote it with Noel Gordon, my producer. And uh, we um, – uh, it's – of course, I lost a couple of sons, and so I've used some of that, man, my soul, and poured out my soul, and then, of course, my love song. And my nephew, which y'all know him by, or my my brother is John Boyle, which is John Michael. Well, his son, Walker, wrote this song. I call it the flag song. It's called Ain't She Beautiful, but it's about the flag, and it's unreal. And I can't believe, you know, I'm like, good God, man, my, my nephews wrote this song. <laughs> I went to him and my brother, and I was like, if y'all ain't cutting this song, I'm going to cut it. So uh, they let me have it. You mentioned uh, the passing of a couple of sons. We know of Hunter. Is, is there something else that you're comfortable talking about? Or uh, No, I lost a son in an accident uh, quite a few years back. And then, of course, Hunter, I lost uh, just a year before T-Roy, same month. Okay. So when you perform this, is that going to be like v- tough to perform live? Uh, you know, I, I tell you what, but that's what makes, I think, uh, makes your songs real, man. If you know, you know, cause I've, I've heard some artists go like, well, I don't know what the song's about. I just singing it. Well, I can't do that, man. I, I gotta, you know what I'm going to sing about. I've, I've got to feel, or it's got to come from me or it's got to be something about something about. I know. I just don't know. There's no way in hell I'm going to go out and say, well, I don't, I don't even know what it's about. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, trust me, my songs, I know what they're about. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I'm gonna be that dude at the end of the at the end of my life. You know, you always hear somebody go like, "Man, I wish I'd have done that." I'm gonna be that dude that's going, "Woo, well, maybe I shouldn't have tried that one." <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't have done that, I know. But I mean, that's what life's about, man. It's the greatest country in the world, man. You know, and uh, uh, we we can say and be and dream as big as we want to in this great country, and we don't give it up enough for our great American heroes. Also, mm-hmm. I agree with that. You have a song with uh, Tanya Tucker. How did that come about? Did you call her? Uh, well, call my, you? well, my producer Noah, Noah, he uh, he knows her very well, and of course, I I've known her because I've listened to her all my life. You know, when you mention Waylon and Willie and Merle Haggard and all that, if you ain't mention Tanya Tucker, then you're missing it because she's the biggest icon as they are. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, I, uh, when it's brought to me, I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'm all about that. So, and I tell you what, man, her voice is as big as it's ever has been. I, I'd, I'd put her up against any young artist right now that wants to try her. Do not. <laughs> Do you do you have like do you have Tanya Tucker's number like do you talk to her? Well, I can't tell that. <laughs> but yeah, yeah that's gotta be cool, right? That's pretty cool. Um, okay, so how's T. Roy's family doing? Uh, they're doing all right, man. You know, it's uh, gosh, man, it's always you know uh, that's something you don't ever get over. Mm. You know, ever. I don't care who you are, and I, I'm, and I'm. And I, all the stuff that I've been through in my life of, of living life. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I can imagine, you know, uh, but, uh, I've done as well as be expected, you know, do you keep in touch with them? I do. Yeah. We'll, mm-hmm. we'll talk to each other from here to time to time and stuff, you know, and it's just, uh, you know, how do you, how, it's something, how, how do you talk about that? You right. know? And, uh, I, I'm, I'm one of them guys, man, that, uh, uh, you know, I didn't even write about stuff for a long time. Right. So, you know, it's hard to it's hard to talk about that kind of stuff. You What's know, for that, anybody. Every show that you play under the Montgomery Gentry mantra, mm-hmm. like, what's that like for you? Because I mean, you have to relive that every night when you. Yeah, go but you know, T. Roy, man, I, that's we made that pack, man, years ago, and it was it was over a few Jim Beams at his daddy's uh, daddy's bar, I guess, uh, and uh, we said if either one of us ever goes down, 
Uh, we wanted the other one to keep the MG name going. And uh, we made a promise on that, and I'm keeping my promise. And so I'm, there's not a day or night don't go by. I don't let everybody – I don't – T-Roy is never going to be forgotten. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, I'm, I'm going to make sure that – and, uh, you know, it's uh, our lifestyle when we were growing up. Uh, yeah, we done that. <laughs> oh yeah we done that one too you know there's uh there's not much saying well no i ain't, I ain't really done that yeah I, I, don't, I don't remember us ever saying that actually <laughs> it seems like in the past few years you've grown so much because i mean you're releasing a solo project you said that you used to not even talk about stuff like this and now you're writing what eight songs and yeah. really really deep stuff yeah man i just uh I, it's my heart and soul you know and it's uh I reckon I, whether it was T. Roy telling me, "Hey, it's time," and so uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't know, but uh, you know, the man upstairs is, uh, he's been very good to me, man, and uh, been good to all of us, and so I appreciate that. And uh, like I said, T. Roy, man, he'll, he's never gonna die. <laughs>